Let me back up for a minute. Have you ever had a crazy idea that wouldn't go away? Something that was cool in theory, but you didn't know if it would actually fly. Well, not too long ago, I had an idea like that. You know on highways how there are sometimes dividers in the median? And how if you look at them right, going fast enough, they'll pass before your eye in a continuous blur, like the pages of a flipbook or cells of a zoetrope. So my idea was, what if you could cover them in art and have them animate as you drove by? Wouldn't that just blow your mind? It was one of those ideas that you should probably just let go, throw away. I mean, this wasn't the theory of evolution or pajama jeans, but maybe it'd make an awesome car commercial. I told my buddy Casey about it. Yeah, it sounded like a really bad car commercial. Shh, what does he know? I talked about the idea for years to anyone who would listen, but no one really seemed to get it. Then one day, Casey told me that he thought Samsung might be interested. And then I told them about it. Max had an idea. You know on highways how there are sometimes dividers in the media? And they said, yeah, as long as he shoots it on our phones, we're cool. It was finally happening. <laughs> now I just needed to pull it off. Hey. Hey. First things first, I needed a road. Okay, so the point of today is to find a stretch of road that's about two miles long. I wanted the animation to tell a story about a road, so I needed to find a road with a lot of stories. Oh man, Paul, he's coming at you. So the first thing I thought of was the U.S.-Mexico border near Marfa, Texas. This is the last paved road before Mexico. Next, I needed an artist to design the animation. This is my friend, Carlos Ramirez. He's a pretty big deal. We are about to do a camera test here in the middle of the desert. That was the fear. <laughs> That's why we're doing this. Are we ready for take one? Ready? Take two. There's a phenomenon called persistence of vision that explains how when light strikes the retina, the brain retains the impression of that light for about a tenth to a fifteenth of a second. As a result, the eye can't clearly distinguish changes in light that occur faster than 24 frames per second. This is how movies work, this is how flipbooks work, and that's how this was going to work. Still hard to make out, like, what's going on. The key are the center points of the image, not the edges. Maybe it's a matter of spacing them further apart. And the faster you're going, the bigger the images can be. At 60, it's looking the best. Wow! Okay, well, everything is kind of going to hell. Just the, just the, the scale of this, just putting up 4,000 plaques on the side of a road that are somehow weather proof that won't fall over, won't cause damage. It could take as much as 19 days for 30 people to put the signs up. All of a sudden, it looked like my idea might be impossible. He's going through something, and it, it started somewhere, like really small, and it got to the point where, where it's brought him down, and it's just a mess. And, and nothing is clear. Things were looking a little grim. The idea is instead of doing it in, on one road, do it on all the roads. That way you don't have to put up all the signs in one spot. You can hire someone to, to wheat paste up posters. Casey was on to something. I couldn't do it on roads, but I could do it on walls. We could do three days of shooting, five locations per day, and that would be about two seconds average in each location. What started off as doing kind of an animation on the side of the road has become a zoetrope across hundreds of walls. Equally ambitious, creatively better. 
the whole thing starts right here in Brooklyn. All right, everything's up. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. we decide to tell the story of the road you travel when you create something. The way it feels when you have a good idea. The way it evolves when it becomes real. The way you need to adapt with it. The way you charge forward. Let's go to the next. The way you count on your friends. The way you outrun obstacles. Nailed it. Heading now to Chicago. We can't drive on this way too dangerous. The way you fight your inner demon. And it's got you doubting your instincts. Doubting your talent. Doubting if you'll finish. Doubting every decision you've ever made. Flying to LA now. Until you're so fucking exhausted from banging your head against the wall that you just make peace with it. Accept it. Merge with it. Now everything is clicking. And you're moving fast, but you're in control. There are no doubts, no regrets, no fear, no anxiety, and you're flying again. And everything seems possible. Wow. That's awesome.